hello developers today from this video i am going to teach blockchain to you all in a very simple and easy way first step is always the definition so this video is all about definition of the blockchain hi everyone this is kamran and i'm a full stack blockchain developer and i'm going to teach you about how you can build your own blockchain technology and details about all its terminologies i will teach you how you can build dapps on blockchain in a very easy way basically you can define blockchain in a very simple word decentralized and that will be enough let's dive deep into this word a conventional web application mainly consists of three parts a front end which show which is shown to the user a database where data is stored and the back end where all the logic is written and it is also a connection between a front end and database so this applications all data and logic is kept at one place or one server and it is served to all the people throughout the world so this is a centralized approach so what is wrong with this approach one place means one owner that means a one entity can change the whole web application and its data that means lack of security security from the server itself data or even your personal belongings are not safe on this centralized structure so let's say you have a bank account in some xyz bank and you added some money in your account so the bank provides you validation with some kind of receipt or something but there is one possibility in which you can be fooled what if bank denies your transaction now we can say that the government is there to take care of all these by its laws but what if the government denies your transactions too the whole situation occurred just because the transaction record is kept at one place and we can say it's centralized now we can try the decentralized concept for the same situation in a decentralized situation whenever there is a transaction happens several nodes of the whole system keeps the record of your transaction and generate some specific key for each transaction and these keys are known as hash so these keys are also encrypted now that the transaction is validated by all the nodes and the data on the decentralized network is immutable the possibility of changing the logic and the data is nearly zero now when you deposit your money in the bank then the bank has a transaction record as well as some other node which can be any person on the network will also have that record in this case no node can make any change in the data without informing the all other nodes now that's the basic fundamental of a blockchain whenever there is a change in data that change is stored in all the nodes or the part of the data is distributed over the network each node validates the transaction so any one specific node can never change the data on that network this process of validating the network or the transaction is called consensus mechanism or in layman term mining the mining takes lot of time and computation that's why a big electricity is needed for mining I will explain what exactly happens in mining that requires this amount of energy in detail in one of the upcoming videos in the same series. So what does the miner gets when he puts so much work to verify the transaction? Miner gets rewards for mining or validating each transaction. It is important to note that the multiple nodes compete to validate new transaction and whichever node does it correctly gets rewarded. Blockchain like Bitcoin and Ethereum have different ways of consensus. Like Bitcoin have proof of work mechanism whereas ethereum 2.0 have proof of stake consensus mechanism for now take proof of work and proof of stake as a different kind of consensus mechanism we will dig up that later in one of the upcoming videos i think this video is enough to get the basic idea of what blockchain is and why it came into picture and how it works thanks for watching i hope it helped you take a step towards the blockchain world Do subscribe my channel right now if you haven't already share it with others and see you in the next video happy coding everyone